All right, so if your computer is showing this BitLocker thing after an update, um, it might be because your BIOS changed some settings. So let me see if I can show how to fix this. Um, you can either try putting this pass or going to the website here, um, the aka.ms forward slash my recovery key, um, and then try and log into your Microsoft account and get the key. But if you can't do it that way, then let me show you how you would do it. So first thing I'm going to do, let's skip this drive. Does this have the one key recovery button on the side here? So for Lenovo, usually they have like a one key recovery button. Uh, I'm going to turn this off real quick. Okay, I'm going to hold the power button because it doesn't want to shut down. All right, and let's see if we can. Uh, let's see, is there one key? Okay, so this is one key recovery. You can see that little arrow, jumpy arrow thing. So we're going to press that. It's going to power on. I thought that was a battery reset button, but that's a one key recovery button. It's weird that they put it down there. Here you go. And now you have the um, bio setup. We're going to go in there and configuration security. There should not be. So boot, fast boot enabled, USB boot enabled. Let's see what other weird settings do they have that might be messing it up. EFI. I don't see any settings here. Let me see if I can find it and I'll be back. Okay, let's try going, I see secure boot status, secure boot is enabled. It should be enabled, but sometimes for some reason it likes it when it's disabled. So let's see here. I don't see the other options like SATA, AHCI or something, but sometimes that will be what fixes it, but I don't see that here. Yeah, I don't see that option here anywhere. There's nothing to click here. So let's exit, let's save changes, see if that worked. Otherwise, the customer is going to have to get their uh, BitLocker recovery key to get this to work. So let's see. It might be it detected that the SSD was disconnected and reconnected, um, but if that's not the case, then yeah. We're going to have to do the BitLocker recovery key. But you basically just go to that website and follow the on-screen instructions. Okay, so this is going to probably take a while to start up again. Oh, there we go. Is it going to work or is it going to give me that? Okay, nope, it gives the BitLocker recovery. So I'm just going to turn this off and go back to re-enable the, um, whatchamacallit, we're going to re-enable the secure boot. And then basically they're going to have to use the BitLocker recovery key because <coughs> of what happened um, with the SSD being detected or the BIOS being detected that something changed. So we're going to go to the BIOS. We're going to go to security again. I'm going to scroll down. Secure boot, enable. And I'm going to let the customer um, finish. F10 is to save and exit. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you'll be able to get your recovery key. Um, check multiple emails. When you first start up your Windows computer, it tells you to create a Microsoft account. It might just be your normal email um, and then whatever password you created with Microsoft. So check that and hopefully you'll be able to get it working. Is it working again on its own or is it going to... Nope. Okay, so it is going to need the BitLocker thing. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.